Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Just wanted to go over uh, some basic integration with uh, Python C++. I've looked at uh, various ways to run Python and uh, that's from within a C++ application. Also, uh, the particular Python application or script we're talking about is uh, downloading simple files. So I'm going to show you a quick demo of what I got so far. Remember, I'm fairly new at this, uh, but just for learning purposes. So here in my Eclipse, I have um, basically uh, a standard Hello World uh, that's created stock out of Eclipse. So just I don't really need that. I am now running system commands. Uh, within my C++, I don't know if it's very efficient, but I'm not needing any return data from my Python script, so that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just display the uh, path I'm in with the PWD in the shell script. The next one is to basically run system again and, and run Python, and then eventually running the download test Python. So let me show you the download test uh, Python here. Now, I've got different scenarios here. First, if you come into this script, uh, you'll notice uh, I have here a package that's needed that I'm using called URL lib3. I'm just grabbing the latest one from my Python 2.7. Uh, just doing a pip install. Uh, I got various examples uh, code that I'm using from different uh, resources. Uh, all of these work, um, but the one that I'm really after is basically this one. And basically what it does is it downloads a zip file from a particular uh, path uh, online at the archive.org download. And anything to do with this, this guy here. Of course, this came from here. At uh, how do I download uh, a zip file in Python? Now, this is going to be a very typical example of Python uh, usage uh, to download files. It's going to be very common as I'm downloading data from various uh, government related so, so, uh, so, so, uh, sites like uh, the St. Louis Fred as a big example. So, you know, it's kind of wonky and um, in Python, it can be done. So in this case, we're downloading a zip. I'll be probably downloading uh, various things like uh, Excel files and um, text files. Now, there is a script out there or a wrapper uh, for Fred for Python only. So I'm going to play with that and see how far I can get. But let me just run this for now in my Eclipse. So this is now the C++. So what you can see here it is downloading that particular file that I mentioned. So uh, once it's finished downloading, it'll say it terminated. So we know that that's done. So just to convince you that this did download. So if I do uh, any zip files um, in this directory, I, I remove it. Okay. If I do another ls, you can see that the uh, zip file is no longer there. So if I rerun this, it's going to download. Uh, it's still running. I just got to wait for that terminate to come up in the Eclipse so that it was uh, terminated. So if I do another ls, you'll see now that I have that zip file. So it did successfully download the file. In terms of, um, as I said, running the system command on the Python script, I'm not sure. I don't think it's the most intelligent way, but from what I've seen, it's probably the simplest way because it gets kind of ugly otherwise. And for all I care, I just want simple and dumb, dumbed down code. Um, it doesn't have to be the smartest, but so far, if it works, it works. Got comments right here.